Number one is the ride. Now, this car comes with the adaptive M Sport suspension, which is an absolute revelation compared to the E89 Z4. My Z4, the things I've always complained about it is the ride, especially when you're going over rough terrain. It's very firm and arguably that's also down to the Bridgestone run flight tyres that the E89 Z4 comes with. Now it's interesting to see that BMW have completely ditched those run flight tyres and gone for Michelin Pilot Super Sport tyres and coupled with the adaptive sport suspension it really helps the ride and definitely an improvement on the E89 Z4. Number two is the interior. Now this interior is absolutely fantastic from the quality of the material. So this car comes with a magma red Vernasca leather interior with decorative stitching. It feels and looks like a premium quality product. The smell of the leather, I mean even just the steering wheel, the feel in my hands is absolutely brilliant. I mean, yeah, this is definitely a step up from my E89 Z4. It just feels like it can now compete with the likes of Mercedes, Audi, and all the leading brands out there. The interior is a real step up from the previous models, and yeah, definitely big thumbs up to BMW. Number three is the amount of technology you get for your money. Now, this car is fully loaded with tech. I don't even know where to begin. So let's start off by starting the car. You've got your start stop button here, but if you follow me and look at the instrument cluster, it's now all digital. It comes with heads up display, ambient lighting, Harman Kardon surround sound system, wireless charging, park distance control, which used to be an optional extra on my E89 Z4. It comes with parking assistance so the car parks itself, Wi-Fi hotspot preparation, keyless entry. The car also comes with a BMW digital key, turning a smartphone into a car key. The digital key employs near field communication, NFC technology, to allow the new Z4 to be locked and unlocked from a smartphone, dispensing with the need for a conventional car key. The new Z4 also comes with a variety of driver assistance systems, including the collision warning and pedestrian warning with city braking function, which come as standard, as well as the lane departure warning system. Number four is the exhaust sound. Now this car comes with a two litre four cylinder engine making 197 brake horsepower, whereas my E89 Z4 makes 181 horsepower. But one of the big differences I've noticed straight away is the exhaust sound, because this car sounds even louder and the pops and bangs are even louder as well. So let me just demonstrate how beautiful this car sounds. It sounds really good for a two cylinder engine. So here we go. So I'm sure you can hear those pops and bangs are fantastic, really good. The only criticism I'll give this car in terms of sound is the upshift pops have gone now. So in the 89 Z4, when you're going up the gears, it used to give you that fart. Unfortunately, this car doesn't give you those pops on the upshifts anymore, which is a real shame because that was a real pleasure on the E89 Z4. But overall, the exhaust sound is much better. So number five, guys, is the increased torque. So this car comes with 236 foot-pounds of torque versus my E89 Z4's 199 foot-pounds of torque. So you get an extra 40 foot-pounds of torque and you really do feel it when you're driving. And I noticed it on the motorway when I picked this car up, how responsive it was when I was making an overtake. Because before in the E89, I had to maybe go down a gear or two just to make sure I do an overtake very quickly, whereas with this, I was so confident, I just put my foot down and it just picked up and went. The increased torque is definitely one of my favorite aspects of this car. The torque is what you feel every day. So guys, yes, torque is my number five. So guys, that is it. Those are the five things I love about the brand new BMW Z4 G29. Let me know what you love about this car in the comment section below. So thanks for watching guys. Make sure you subscribe, share, like this video and click the notification button so you know when the next video is going live. Thanks again. See you later.